The gentleman I'm with in the studios uh, today is um, most talked about this week, actually, everywhere, in the music circles in Zambia. Um, he did a song last week. He called it uh, Dear Brother. And a lot of people are talking about it. A lot of people, some are upset, some are happy, some are enjoying the show, some have taken it personal. Some of us are like, oh, okay, where's the popcorn, where's the glasses, you know what I mean? But anyways, uh, let's... Uh, <laughs> Let's get to talk to him on the other side uh, after the song he has put on um, number five. My name is DJ Shoster. Welcome to this episode of High Five.
Bwana Steni ile hapo Kinoni twenja Mr. Tensi Yandu Big Mitch Na Bena Ashfab M3 J Pop Jerayo Inc Rito Moba Whiteside Bakam CP Snare Show for the Pacho Bolo Son Mr. Kaiman Atsai Chapo Hello and welcome back. This is High Five. Early on, uh, I sort of gave you a hint of the person I'm with in the studios, and of course, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for J.O.B. <laughs> yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? I do. What's up? I'm all right. It's I'm good to have you here, man. It's good to be here yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you know, there's no stopping. There's no stopping. You can no you can be here man. as many times as you can. Yes, as, as long as we have something to talk about. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Um, I can see you're all blinged up the the teeth and whatnot. Oh no, that's not by choice. That's a necessity. What do you mean it's a necessity? That was my my arrangement in place. But forget about that. <laughs> choice. I'm move on. Move on. <laughs> I know you look all blinged up, and I like it. Okay. So yeah, um, J O B Jamali. Which name should I should I should because because recently you brand you rebranded. Which name should I? J O B Jamali. Either way. J O B Jamali. So J O B Jamali. J O B Jamali. Okay, J-O-B awesome. Nishikari. J-O, yeah, J-O. So either way, it's two words. Okay, so it is not a good thing. I knew J-O-B a long time ago. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, this is 2019. Maybe two zero seven eight. Yeah, eight, seven, eight. Seven, eight, yeah. Then he was at uh, a studio. I'd never, be, I, I'd, I'd never really gone to a studio. He, he, he was telling me he was from a studio called No Intro. Um, he was telling me about how he used to bring me music of the people I've not met. Um, you know, I met him first. Then I was at Hone FM. I was doing a hip-hop show called uh, The Hip-Hop Nation. Uh, he told me, told me about a person called Bobby East, a person called um, Francia. Was it Francia? Yeah, Chilu. France, Chilu. Chilu, yes. Some chick called Chilu. Um... Uh, and Flex. Mm. I came to meet these people later on. I came to meet Bobby and Flex later on as well as, as, well as France. Uh, Chilu. Who's, where's Chilu? Chilu is around. Uh, last I heard from her, she was with K Army. But the, I haven't spoken to her lately. So The Chilu with K Army is the Chilu lady you used to tell me about then. Yes. Wow, she's been around, man. Anyway, no intro. I want you to give us, just tell us about no intro, how, if you remember how it started, how you met up these people, especially how you met Bobby. I want you to really give a story of how you met Bobby and how it went on from there. Okay. Um, I wrote my grade 12 in 2006. Yeah, and uh, you know, you know that cafe is that one year after you do uh, your exams and you're waiting for waiting for the exams, and, and then if you can, if the other year you could actually be enrolled into university, yeah, or you but can start something to do, yeah, as you're looking for a job and the likes, you know, that's that's when we learn how to really write an application letter properly. So I had taken up gardening, you know, so I was in the garden just doing up to my flower, and my friend Dre came over. Uh, and he was like, no, let's 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 visit um, some friends of mine over there. They've got some beats. They invited me to hear some beats, and so we went there. That's how uh, we went to actu- we actually went to Robert's place. Went to Robert's place, and Joe introduced us. Oh, this is Robert. This is Job. This is uh, Charlie, and the likes. Yeah. And so they they played some beats. We heard some music, and we had an idea that day, just the same day. And Bobby being who he's always been, you know, organized the session somewhere in the <laughs> hood. <laughs> yeah, by uh, 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 some friend of ours, place uh, Moses. And so we went there, did our first job. When, when, when you met Robert, was at Robert's place. Yes. What what what, what did house. you go to do there? Um, I was escorted my friend Dre. Dre was went to get what? Show star. I was doing gardening. I followed, but what did you go to do by 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 by? by Does it not even my beat? Okay, but it didn't. Thing didn't. Bobby didn't have a studio at home. No, that time the studio wasn't at home. That's before the studio. This is pre bedroom studio. Pre- I'm just trying to follow. So I'm Bobby. asking. Okay, okay, yeah. So that time, well, we we paid like twenty kwacha for uh, 
for a session for a record yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, well okay but yes of all that that 20 you could say because I could say because I got the 20 game you know right you know yeah and, and so from there we did a song uh, well, so you we, went to to a studio with uh, Bobby the, the very day you met yeah the very day we met we were listening to some beats and then we had this concept, some song about being a G and whatnot. And it's always about being a G. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing I hear is like, dude, I, I've, organi- I've organized us a session, so we need to hit the lab. I'm like, hey, wait, what? Because I've never, you know, I mean, I've grown up with music from church, but I'm, it's been gospel, it's been church music, it's been choir, you know, and then, oh, let's go try it out. So that's how we did our first track. Was it? Crappy song. <laughs> <laughs> so then, <laughs> before I talk about the crappy song, were, were you were you were you like rapping prior to that? Were you thinking like I'm gonna be a musician one day? No, no. I had just submitted my. Uh, I was actually waiting to be enrolled to Zast. Yeah, but that never worked out. So, anyways, as we're still thinking and what that happened. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the crappy song's title? Yes, I'm a G with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a G with it. <laughs> I'm a G with it. <laughs> yeah, it sounded just like that. Oh, oh yeah, it sounds yeah. like that. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we could have, I, I don't remember the rest of it though, but. but it sounds like you must have told him that thing, um, the cartoon from uh, Put Some D's on it. I don't know. Uh, I, know. I don't know. <laughs> and then? Yes, and then, well, we did our first song, and yeah, we did our first song, and you know, it was. It made a bit of noise in the hood, you know, small oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So people, you shared it, people yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, small scale like that. And then we did some more music. We did some more music, and it was about that time that we met with Alpha. He was which, 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 which studio was that where you went to pay my 20 kwacha? That was Iron Road. Iron <laughs> Road Studios. What was the producer? Was a taker. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Taker. He's, he's, he's out there somewhere. Still, still at it too. Still making good music. Awesome. awesome yeah, shout man. out to you, man. Awesome. 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 <laughs> yeah. So, um, well, after Iron Road and the likes, well, you know, twenty kwacha up Kenskarambo for top the Robert had a computer in his in his room, a Carpentier Carpentier three. A Carpentier three computer with twenty gigs hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then back then when you have that computer in your bedroom you are blessed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in his room. <laughs> yeah, but and so yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that grey or white? It's like a cream white. Cream white, cream white yes, cream, cream white. <laughs> dark white, dark white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so you know he would he would move like this very big speakers there like these huge speakers in their living room like uh-huh. this story so he would move one to the bedroom and then would make music on that carpentry i'm sorry machine yeah these don't yeah. flute loops hey, hey, actually because number like uh because of my background in music mm-hmm. church i was in the orchestra so you know like it's a it's a fruity loops is a program it's just a program if i can learn the program with my music i think i can make music so we organized the fruity loops naga cubes and well, it's a time is that in the chat or my name will form day. Hey! <laughs> 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 you also recorded the mix mastered. But I, my point is now, I try to think at the end of the bar. I'll pass on a flash. I pass, but this is it. I go afar. So this is no kind of pass up a bar. Timber. Yeah, so anyhow, uh, from there, when about, <coughs> and you know, like, uh, uh, Robert's parents were so cool about all of it, you know, like, so cool. Sometimes we'd make songs and we'd go play them for, for them, especially at my gospel. So, but I think at the end of the day, they got tired of the noise, you know, and so they, they kicked us out of the, 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 bedroom. the bedroom, yeah, and then um, gave us uh, space on one of their properties. In, by the market, that hence now the beginning of no intro. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they, 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 Robert's parents didn't want you to be recording from the house, so they, they gave you a space. Yes. So who came up with uh, the idea of no intro? So who was, who was part of no intro? Uh, it was uh, Robert, Charlie, uh, Drakas, uh, Dremond, and myself. That's yeah. So Robert, Charlie, 
Drummond and myself. Yeah. And uh, you know, we had a few other artists who we were working with, or rather our first client, uh, Tonyx Kondwani, a close friend of ours, I guess. You know, but those were, they were there, but not really, <coughs> can I say, the founding members of the whole arrangement, but we had a lot of people around. Oh yeah? Yeah. So hence the beginning of uh, No Intro. When did you no have intro. Flexville? When did you have um, France? Okay, so, you know, um, we, we, we didn't have much, um, we, we didn't really know anything about anything at the time. You know what I'm saying? We just had a dream, you know, we just had a drive. We just knew we could do it, <laughs> you know? So, um, one, one, once upon a time, we had an idea with Robert, you know, and we said, okay, let's find 10 artists in this way in Chunga who were going to sign and who... Um, so the market was in Chunga? Yeah. Uh, was in Chunga there. So, yeah, ten artists, ten artists. I mean, come on, man. Already, just think about it. From boys who don't even know what they're doing. They want to, 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 to sign or bring ten in ten artists. artists. <laughs> That's a lot of work, man. <laughs> you know, but can I mean, our attitudes were go, go, we're go. Like, let's we go. We're doing this. It. We can do this. We can do this. And so we got our ten artists, and amongst those were. <coughs> Were Alpha uh, Jubik. Alpha Romeo? Yeah. Because um, we had done a song with Alpha Soldier. There's like a song we had done at Iron Road. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There, we're going to play my 20 quarts. Is it? My 15 quarts. Ah, we. Ah, we found this my Paptako look at two years. Oh, the chase of my 50 quarts. I like it. I like the history. Yeah. Anyways, but you know, so, um, so these guys that you're getting, you are signing them to no intro. Yes. So you signed Alpha Romeo. Yes. Okay, like it. Who are who else? Um, Alpha, uh, Juvik, Flex, France, some um, a, a guy called Maybe Ninchunga. Who's France? Uh, Francia. Francia. Oh, sorry. Yeah, France. France. By Francisca. Oh, Francia. Francia. People <laughs> relate to. to uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, Tishon. You signed Tishon as well. Yes. Okay. Chilu. Who else? Hey, who else? Jekash? No, no, no. Jekash, Jekash. No, Jekash was uh, that's K Army now. Later, later on. That was later, later on. And uh, I think I think I was trying to get Speedo on the on the team too. Speedo did a song called what? Get it, get Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. I was trying to get Speedo on the team. That was uh, that was the Jerry Fingers Ben plays at time. That time. That was you know. And they were on fire. Oh my God, those were the days. <laughs> yes, so you got your ten artists. Yeah, we got the ten artists, and really, we we tried. You know, we tried. It was a lot of work. Like I, I, I do. We used, we practically used to live at that market. You know? It was a lot of work, but of of all these artists, you know, it's 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 not just about signing. It wasn't just about signing an artist. Say, hey, Baba, you are signed. Come with your song today. Hey, what do you have? Sing. Hey, b- no, it was really, what do you have? Okay, let's do this. You know, we'd work as a team. You know what I'm saying? And we'd, so we'd, you could add in some ideas. Yeah, and just like that, you know. And, well, it seemed to have worked because it had caught the attention of uh, the, the Blazers and the, the Petersons, you know. And, well, from then, from that time, uh, so it was that time when, when when you used to come and meet when you used to come and meet me you used to come from yes Chunga. yes actually you, you used to come from the market there yes to bring the music <laughs> <laughs> yes that was <laughs> that was about the time you know I wish you took a picture then man it was like some ten years yeah, ago <laughs> social media wasn't all that then. or rather maybe we didn't know we didn't know right we didn't yeah so <clears throat> that, those were about the times you know so uh, we're working uh, I uh, we had some projects with France. Francia, yeah, with ladies and gentlemen, France. He means Francia. <laughs> oh, it's, it's I know she's your friend, and you are used to that, so it's all good. I understand. Mm. And, and, um, so then, fast forward. Mm. How did you now? Um, which one was like your first hit, like song from No Intro? Or did you have like a hit song that's really played everywhere from No Intro, or it was after you spread? 
Yes, we had some songs at the time. Uh, those are uh, Bobby's Bad Girl. Looking for a bad girl. Yes, yes, yes. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that song. I mean, I remember those songs. Yeah. <laughs> and those, the anthem. The anthem, yes, the I remember anthem. the anthem. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and um, I think that, that was, I think those those were the two. Those songs are like the songs that really. And then there was Alpha Romeo's No Wound. No Wound, yes. Featured Slap. Yes. Yeah. In those We Were Younger too. We Were Younger was Alpha, done from Alpha, Yeah, Alpha Romeo's We Were Younger also. Yeah, there's, there's other stories co- related that to that song. Have, yeah. <laughs> okay. So then the connection with Blazer? Well, because I think the whole world got, uh, uh, with the good, they really gave you attention when you went to Blazer. So yeah. So how did the connection with Blazer come in? Uh, by chance, I don't know how, uh, Franz met uh, Ben and shared her music with him. And he was very interested. And so, when on one of his trips from Kitwe to Lusaka, eh, they came through. They came to, to, to the market, Tunga. Yeah, came through to come pay us a visit. Yeah, it was very cool, actually. You know, like these are people we look up to, or we're, we're really looking up to at the time. And to just see them randomly pop up, and you know, you no, know, we just want to hear what you guys have. And everyone now is back in the studio, <laughs> chanting like every time they play a song, they increase the volume. <laughs> 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 yeah, and well, so it seems, it seems we auditioned well, you know, and so I, I got the call, you know, say no, would like you to come through. So for us, you know, at the time. It, was okay for me personally at the time it was really like okay guys this is our chance mazira mazira this is our chance up and i end up you know what i'm saying like we're going so that's a good you first alone yeah yeah as a producer like, or yeah. as an, a singer as a rapper uh, as a producer as, as a, producer. a producer at the time actually france France was first. France, Francia was first. France was first. And then I came next. And then so when we went there, <coughs> as a producer, I worked for a couple of years. Uh, literally, I got there and I was at school again for the first time, you know. Like Ben just got this huge book, Audio Institute of America degree course in music production. And boom, young Go man. through this. Here, start studying. Here we don't play. <laughs> 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 you know, and... <coughs> There, that was a defining moment for me. Because, yeah, but the pain and calm, I am God. Oh, but I was just like, I'm going to ask you. Fast forward. Life just went on very fast. fast. Forward, yeah, so, you know, like, we, no, like, we, we had this thing, like, dude, it was, it was France and I in the Copper Belt, and the rest of us were here in LSK, you know? So, as much as we were working, but, you know, there's that pain you feel, you know, where your brothers are not there, Vasala, you know, so you know, we at least Robert came through, Charlie came through and later went back, uh, Flex and the likes, you know. But when Panetna Patankarako at least in Flex, Robert na friends, at least, you know, four of us we had we had something to go on now, you know, and that is how we worked on those projects, the Omutoko Fionpos and the Palomas and the likes. And then Ben brought us back here for the marketing. And so, well, from there on, we became here we are today. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I, I was enjoying this guy's story. I couldn't, I, I forgot those. We had to go for a break. Let's do a break. <laughs> <laughs> Sobali, all as a mudenga, 
Bali wakondinda no mpujika na katiti Puja sani running daddy games in sate and the jani Konse konse wale sinolani Zikola pansi mumanja ndi guava Zonse ndi zake kulie chagava kulio Kozo mukali la pampando kapu ya ti yake uisho kahando Bali wangangi watepe ama saluta ovala mapepe Nune nangeri su nune nantete Bali is fly opanda tete tete Bali wangangi watepe ama saluta ovala mapepe Nune nangeri su nune nantete Bali is fly Hello, welcome back. Uh, this is High Five. My name is Shosta, the DJ. I'm hanging out with uh, J-O-B. Um, I've always wanted to ask this. When you... You're sampling of... Uh, that song I just said, Higher. Was it in, 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 the, in the legal rights? Like, I hate this. You're just supposed to sample like five seconds. Didn't you do more than that? Yeah, you could say that. You could say that. Mm. When you're doing something like that, you don't think about maybe some someone could follow me or Guzambia No, um, well, there's ways to go about this whole thing. There's some, um, to my technicalities and the likes, but uh, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's not really a profitable thing. I'm not putting that on any on, on album. I mean, some cops won't let me do that. You know, I'm not gonna get anything from it in the like so oh okay way, oh so it's different when maybe when you put it on some selling pl- yeah, platform yeah then you're making money off it yeah also then you, then then people can follow you up so it's up for free links it's not it's up for free links it's up for free links it's well i mean Chosta, what i mean what 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 are you asking me which which where do we do people download music and make money off of it no, that's not, I'm, no, I'm just trying to get. I'm just trying to get education. Like, if it's up for free links, the owners of the content can't follow you and say, "No, you sampled our thing." I'm not making any money off of it. Okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. Moving on. This week, you have trended. You have made a lot of noise. Ah. 
Mm. You have made a lot of noise. You're like on ev- almost everyone's lips. People who follow Zambian music. You put out a song um, called Dear Brother, and you said a lot of things. Um, <laughs> I don't understand the conversation we had be- before the before the cameras, but um, you said a lot of things. But before before we come to Dear Brother, it must have been in 2015. Was it, was it in 2015 when you dropped uh, Day One with Kantu and Bobby? Yeah. I thought you guys when I thought you guys had moved, put the past behind. When you did day one, especially, you guys, you 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 told your brother you love him in the song. You you guys had a lot of love. You showed a lot of love in that song to each other. Yes, shows sure, that. Yes. And then this. Yeah, why well, are you? Why suddenly? Uh, we thought that we had moved on, and then now you drop dear brother to start things that we had put behind you. Why didn't you just let it go? I mean, he, he keeps talking about it, so I mean, it's not really in the past. If in a couple of songs, but he keeps talking about it after after day one. Yeah, I think in a couple of songs, you know, you get a few mentions here and then. So I thought, okay, well, I guess I didn't really say my part. I didn't clear this up, you know. Okay, now that you say it like that, uh, I remember it must have been an H Mark song. It must have been in Down. Yeah, I remember. I remember that one. Yes, I do. I do. It wasn't just one song. Well, for instance, the same, um, the same down track that you speak of. You know, it's it's still there. It's 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 part of the story. You know, you can't really just tell your truth without mentioning certain things, and so it's part of the story. You know. But anyway, um, there's a lot of things that I want us to address here. Um, a lot of things that I want us to address here. We, we after he you dropped your song, he he came on and said something like, "We all have our, our demons." Like maybe when I was when I had issues when I was going to court, only my mother was there. You were supposed to be the friend. You were not there for him. Why do you want to come and complain <coughs> here that he's never there for you? Oh, well, it's not. Um, it's not just about pointing fingers and the like, show stuff. You see the. The, the the situation, the events involved in the court case. I'm I'm a silent player in all of that too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's at the end of the day it, it was pretty awkward for me also at the time. You know? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. I do understand that the the, 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 the viewers are not understanding. <laughs> you know that you're not what you're telling me, you're not telling me. Yeah, well, since we're still talking, tell you it's just that it's come, but so probably it's a joke, aren't they? <laughs> you just said you're a sil- silent player in that whole thing. How are you a silent player in that whole thing? Like, you're not in the video and you're not at the court. At part, what point are you playing part? Well, um, I, was, I too was involved with... Uh, uh, the girl in question, or the you are the one taking the video. No, no. Oh my God, Shosta. You just said you were involved. Oh, was oh wow. Mad. What you just made this sound so <laughs> wrong now, so nasty. Like oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm just no. trying. To, I'm just trying to get things, everything out of you. <laughs> also, you are involved with the chick, the lady. So yeah. it's it's a girl. Cause none of you has said which girl. Like this. It doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't. But now that you've said now you were involved, that. That girl is the girl? I don't know. It doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter that the two of you are talking about the girl and you're not mentioning the girl's name. Yeah. Rowan, well, we don't have to give her publicity. Okay, yeah, let's not mention her name. Why? Let's not mention her name, but that girl is the girl that sh- you are uh, involved You with know, first. you know. When you know, you know. You know. When you know, you know. You know. I mean, those people don't know. What you are, they, they know. They don't know. <laughs> you know. They know. <laughs> so, that chick was the chick that you were involved with. So that's why you couldn't go to court, is it? It's to support for me. Yeah, it was very awkward. Because you know, at, at some point I was almost supporting you, like, but you know, um, he could have. I was almost supporting, like, but why? Yeah, why? Why, why didn't Jake go be good? Jake would be good to your court. I mean, when his friend was going through things like that, because I didn't know that you were a silent player in that situation. But then the guy sold you out in his, in his response. He said that you know you were you were married at the time. And he had told you that he liked the chick, but you still went on. To vibe the chick. Okay. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. 
No, it's well. I mean, it's self-explanatory. I mean, if I see, I'm, I'm. So I was wrong. I was wrong in a way, right? So, uh, look, if if you're if you're gonna steal and then on your way they steal from you, then what now? <laughs> did did, and and I know that is one of the things that affected your 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 relationship. Is it? You could say that. You know, okay, it's, it's, it's just a matter of trust. Look, everyone has got their own reasons. You know, from everyone's point of view, we're all right. You're right, I'm right. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's right. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? So it's, it's a matter of looking at things from the other perspective. So I've got my perspective of where I say, okay, regardless of what and <laughs> Exactly what, my dude, point. This, you're blood, you're my friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, I mean, if, if there's been a history of such behavior, I didn't think it would... You know what I'm saying? Like, I thought we were the ones immune to this, but, dude, you, you struck. <laughs> you catch my drift. So there was a bit of that also. But it's not really important in a way. But, but really, um, you know that this is your friend. This is your friend, and then you, there's so much history. Even at the beginning of this show, you, I'm sure the history you've given is just part of it. Like, there's so much history between the two of you. We don't know what happened when you're staying together, when you stayed together for a long time. There's so much history, and then you share a lot together. You're like brothers, you know what I mean? And, and I could tell in both songs, your dear brother and his Killmonger, you guys are telling each other stuff. Someone who understands music can tell that you guys are respecting each other, even at the helm of all this, you know? But my point is, you couldn't, you couldn't do it off the mic, off the cameras, off the Facebook, off the internet. You couldn't sort it out. Like, you couldn't find each other and sit down each other and sort it out so you can move on. Well, um, because already you showed us your maturity in day one, and in day one, Bobby said we shouldn't lose this. I think I want to get up. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Anyhow, um, <clears throat> yes, I could. I could have done a lot, many things, a whole lot of many things. You know, I could have written a letter, I could have written an email, I could have written it in the sky, but I chose music because it's a uh, the medium that I'm comfortable with and um, as a musician I would like you to understand to say it's, it's not like there's something wrong here or that the, the feelings are so deep no like you said this this was spoken about you know it's just the story you know maybe it's so it became so big because I have never really said my my part you know in the, in the day one song I just did a verse there and all in all, you know, I didn't say much. You know what I'm saying? But now that may be that I too have come out and just said to say, okay, here's the story, you guys. Have a listen and tell me what you think and hopefully you'll learn something from whatever is going on here. You know? Don't you think you're putting your friendship on the line? Like, this is your friend. When, yes. you're, when you're putting out day, 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 day one, did you think that, anyway, since he's moved on and the friendship can hang now, let me just do this. What was going when on? Putting, when, I, when I was putting on one... When you're putting when you're putting out that song, you you didn't maybe think about put like maybe your friendship was gonna be tested. I knew I I knew it would be tested. I did not know to what to extent, what extent you know, but I knew it would be tested. But like I'm like I like like you know like you've heard you know, it's we 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 met, we spoke about it. Yeah yeah I heard that you 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 met um, your song dropped on. Friday morning, <laughs> was it <a> Saturday morning? <laughs> wait, 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 Saturday morning. Yeah. He's dropped like Monday afternoon, and this is Wednesday. You met on Tuesday. Yeah. You met on. He's dropped on Monday afternoon. You met on Tuesday. I, I I'm very much interested. I, I, I like to know the meeting. Who, who could who? What was the com? If you can share with us a conversation. Okay, so uh, <coughs> did you punch? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I know I'm just joking. I know I'm just joking. No, no. Okay, so after I dropped the song, um, he put up a couple of posts online, and he, you know, he, he WhatsApp me, you know. Okay, what's up, man? And you no, know, I'm. It's no beef and no harm, and I'm sorry that what you might maybe felt neglected and you know, all. And I expected that, you know, I really did expect that when I put this out, he will probably feel a certain kind of way, you know. And um, well, I guess 
you know, the hate that, that's been, you know, it's a story. It's a story. It's, it's a story, okay? And maybe if the characters are based on real people or whatever, it, but it's a story, you know? And so, so much hate is being directed to who is being perceived as what and the likes, you know? And maybe... You say that he, I don't know, apologized uh, that maybe you felt neglected. Did, uh, did he apologize for the response as well? Yeah. He apologized for putting out a response. Yeah, that did was you? the meat. That was the meat. The whole point of you meeting? Not or really the, the whole point of us meeting. We were, we were going to meet. We had to meet. You know? Did you? Did you? He apologized for what? For 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 staying for for having that distance between the two of you. Well, after the song dropped, he apologized to say, you know, um, I'm sorry if you felt neglected. You know what I'm saying? Like if you felt what? You know, and I, you know, I just told him to say, dude, I, I get it. I understand. You know, I understand. This is just the game. This is just music. I'm just putting out that music that people can resonate to. You know, and so maybe after that and because of maybe the pressure or whatever or I don't know what but I just saw that Killmonger DP go up and I <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I thought okay okay yeah this then you said waiting for it this is coming <laughs> <laughs> then you're like wait for it wait, wait for it <laughs> <laughs> I went to sleep and woke up I was like oh it is here <laughs> Yeah. Well. I got intel. I got intel before the song dropped. I got intel that there's actually a song coming. Then I, t- I was told to wait for it. So no. I didn't want to say it anywhere else. I was like, wait for it. I was watching a movie. And I was like, before this movie features, the song is coming. Yeah. And then it came. Anyway, um, what what else, did you have anything to say to apologize to him when you when you? Yes, I I had to apologize for all of this. You know, like uh, I, I I was I was I was I was trying to make music. You know. Um, as much as we, we we might not be together a lot, you know, but listening to what he's working on and what he's doing, you know, I too am learning from him and hopefully he's learning from me in a way, you know. And one of the things that I've really picked up from him is his capacity <coughs> and uh, his capacity to tell the truth and to say it like it is, you know. He can tell an event and say it like it was, you know without fear, with courage, you know, people get touched, people get hurt and whatnot, but others are very happy about it, but he says it as it is, and so, you know, I learned something, and I took a lift from there, and I did a jam, you know, and I spoke a bit of truth, it's not about anyone, it's about me, you know, and I spoke my truth, and so, well. Do you, do you think that in in his song, he said that would you be calling out? Would you be calling me out if I didn't attend this level of success? Did you feel that maybe he said something very real there? Well, I don't like, know. I don't like, know. Look at this. Like, look at this. like you, you know, intro. You said you said with when a chilu, when Dani, why is you not coming when a chilu? Why is you coming maybe when I'm flex view? Why is you coming when I'm See, that's that's the point. That's the point. You see. Why is you coming when I'm going when I'm going this, when you okay. dream, yeah, when you flex, you mm-hmm. see that's the that's the point. That's that's the whole beauty of this song. See now, 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 as of this moment now, hip hop has to be different. It's gonna be different now. You see, we're gonna speak real. We're gonna speak truth, and in that truth, all these people have to be spoken about. All these people have to be mentioned. All their 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 everyone has to receive their dues. You see, everyone has to receive their mention, and so if. If we're going to say, would, would you mention me? You see, this is personal to me. It's not about, I mean, why am I going to mention who else? Do I have issues with who else? Or did I have issues with who else? Yeah, so do you, do you according to him, it looks like you only have issues because it's, it's not happening. He said that in a song, would you have talked about me if I didn't attain this level of success? So, why and... My question is, 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 is there some part of truth in that statement? Do you think there's some part of, some element of truth in that statement? That maybe you're focused on... It's you, a question. You, yes. It's a question, you know, and I would say, yes, I still would. I still would mention your name if you did not attend uh, that level or whatever, 
you know I still would does does that answer your question <laughs> it does do you think your meeting yesterday really squashed everything and we would not see Bobby do a line or two in the ne- in the upcoming songs and either you do a line or two or the whole song next time do your meeting yesterday did it <coughs> Because there's where you just talk about it and then it's not completely over. Then there's like where you talk about it and then you sort everything out and then you, you sort of s- make how you're going to move from there. There's nothing to say. There's nothing more to say. You know, whatever needed to be said has been said. And if in the songs. and Yeah, in the songs and in person, you know. And if there's a mention in the song or there's something spoken, and then, then it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. It's part of the story. But obviously, I am hoping it doesn't go that way. (laughs) (laughs) Were you compelled to think about maybe I could just respond to Kiyomonga? Ah, nah. You didn't, it didn't click. Not like you want to, but it didn't click at some point. Like, oh, never come at me. First thing come in a video, first thing come. Nah, nah, it it didn't quite sting us. Maybe it should have been done. Like, ah, I would would rather just. (laughs) Nah, man, no. <laughs> it, it, your friend is attached to some, um, is a brand ambassador of some companies here and there, and he works with certain people. This kind of thing doesn't affect at any point? It does. Uh, I, th- I think it does. And, um, well, I, I just hope it, it's not bad or whatever, you know. But, um, I still stand by the fact that it's just music. It's just the music, man. It's just the music. <laughs> it's just music, but but then, did maybe let me ask this way. When you had a meeting, did you guys talk about maybe how you can maybe sort your issues out? Maybe if if you can maybe s- create some time for each other. Not like create some time like you're a girlfriend or a boyfriend, but like... <laughs> oh, my maybe God. Maybe meet up in the studio. Oh, wow. Work, work together. Well, here's that's that's do the, the features you talked about. He refuses. How many times did you call Bobby and he didn't pick up to come and feature in your song? That really touched me though. <laughs> I don't know anything else that you talked about in the song. Nothing really touched me apart from yeah. the feature. I'm like the feature. Like oh good, these two they can't get to this level. I mean, okay. So like how many times did you call Bobby and he didn't pick up? Let me just ask once. No man, no no man. That's 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 not important. <laughs> no, it's really important. That's the only thing that touched me though. <laughs> I'm sorry it touched you. It, it did. Um, it oh, a lot of people got touched. A lot of people are <laughs> touched. Like you know, I'm not. I didn't know you after Nezonyango Takazo. I knew you like years, 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 years before. Mm. Anyway, so the the the, the point of. Um, what excuses would he give you? Like, would he be out of town? Would he, would he say he would record and then he would not come to the studio or send you stuff? Would you send stuff? T- give me just one scenario. But anyway, so my point is, I hope you're meeting. Uh, it's going to bring something fruitful. Like, next time, maybe you need a feature. Maybe something could easily work out. Or you could go to the studios when they're looking for people to open their shows. Maybe they could get you on and probably pay you some money, you know what I mean, before they could share some money oh. with you. Oh. What do you mean? You talked about oh. everything in the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Everybody has listened to the song. It's on my website. I know. I know. I, I know. Navela. Navela. So I'm saying that Hopefully, that meeting wasn't just hopefully. to take pictures. No, it wasn't. Hopefully, it wasn't. Hopefully, I yeah, hope also so, too. You, you know, a feud like this, it's feud in both... You're not, like, exactly the innocent guy. No. You're also maybe doing 50%. I'm just a human being. Yes. I'm probably 90%. <laughs> probably even doing the 90%, and this guy is just, like, on the receiving end, and he's just doing the 10%. So, I'm hoping you're also going to... The whatever concern you had, you're also going to tone down and do the correct thing so that you can meet each other halfway. We, we're just beings. Yes, sure, they are very right. We oh. intend to do that. You intend to do that. Awesome. Let's talk about your your music. Like, your music, apart from Dear Brother, <laughs> <laughs> your other songs, your current project, what you're working on. Before we go there, do you have any Dear Brothers? <laughs> No, like, dear, I have a lot of dear brothers. Uh, like, listen, I... <laughs> <laughs> do you know how I relate to your song? Uh-huh. Dear brother is just not Joby and uh, Bobby East. Mm. 
I, I have my own people who when I sit down I'm like oh this is now life has moved the people are behaving like that and I know that there are people out there who look at me like oh certain things have happened with Shosta maybe things like this you know what I mean mm. so we, we're just beings <laughs> but then I was not very happy with the fact that when you're very close to each other like when you're very close to each other this is, this is your friend this is your friend you're putting to the public for the public to shoot where is he going to draw his defense from you are the we are, you are the you are the guy who's supposed to be when people are shooting at Bobby you are the guy who's supposed to be in the first line of defense you know what I mean but if you are the one who's going to put Bobby there it becomes defense late. he's going to get shot and you know what I mean Anyway, so my point is, maybe you can just talk about it from. Dude, we're talking about your dear brothers. I'd rather I don't talk about my dear brothers here or on on radio or on the internet. I'd rather we meet even for a drink or I invite you home or you know something like that. Maybe we just talk and see if we can work it out. Something like that with my dear brothers. But well, your dear brothers, you can you, you take it to your brothers. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Well, we're musicians. We're musicians. It's hip hop. It's, it's just the nature of the game. You know, that's why he is such a good. He does a great sport about it. How are your families taking it? Are they taking it? Ah, oh, it's hip hop. It's just nature. Oh, uh, the, the parents aren't quite happy. Well, anyhow, you see, that's 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 one of the reasons why this all of this can't go to like even for just for publicity sake or the likes you know it can't go so far because it's too deep you know it's too deep the, the pain is real like this isn't this isn't like some beef like for for lies no if this turned into beef this is deep yeah, and, know. and you know and mm. it could be very hurtful to it could be very dangerous for us personally or you know and well the, f- the families, the, it's 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 going to happen. Right. Have yeah. you received a phone call from the other side? Has he also received your phone a phone call from this side? Uh, not quite, but um, yeah, well, the phone calls have come in. Yes, that the well, the sentiments have been very clear. You know, it's, it's just not only the family, but everyone, the friends, like even you yourself. I don't, I don't, you. <laughs> I mean. You, you have a but job it's on TV, it's on TV, so we can talk about what we've talked about off air though. Uh, who was going to say anything? I wasn't, go- I wasn't going to say anything about what we spoke about <laughs> off air, man. But the point is, we're family, and yeah, you know, maybe maybe I went too far, you know, maybe. But like I said, you know, I also felt like, okay, I think maybe I should tell my part, you know, because. I mean, it's just the game. It's just the nature of hip hop, and so now it's been done. And well, we we'll go forward from here. Hopefully, it's brought us closer. Hopefully, it's helped some people out there. I mean, hopefully, it's going to change the game. I mean, it's nice that the year 2019 is beginning with forgiveness <laughs> and reconciliation and all that. Jabs, jabs, You're jabs, jabs. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <You're> welcome. <laughs> Oh good. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Right, so as we close, I want us to talk about. Um, I want you to t- talk about your your anything you're doing right now that people should be looking out for, or something. Okay. Um. Well, because I know you're always working, Jay. I'm always in the studio. You know, it's always in the lab. I mean, I mean, people would see me like this and think, "Oh God, you got a job." I'm like, eh, "What do you mean I got a job? <laughs> what question is that? <laughs> I got a job? I, I have a job. I'm, I have a job. I'm a musician. I'm not just a. I'm a musician. I just real. don't go to a studio on Saturday. No, 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 it's it's a daily that's my thing. Job. My, that's my job. You know, and so working on uh, on new music. I have a project coming out soon. You know, if you like Dear Brothers, then you're going to love uh, the album. Oh, so you're going to diss us all now? There's going to be a diss for Shosta. There's going to be a diss for Mikey Duke. There's going to be a diss for uh, Domi D. There's going to be a diss for... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you for that idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just kidding. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. I think if you loved how it sounded and how it felt, you know, like that realness, it'd be 
greet you and shook you with it. You're gonna love the project. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I, I, I like that song. I like that song. A lot of, yeah. I've gotten a lot of reviews about the song itself. It's nicely put. It's very artistic. It's very creative. Yeah. And, uh, we're working with a couple of guys, you know. Collabs? Yeah, some collabs, but uh, mostly uh, grooming uh, yeah, young artists, you know, uh, upcoming artists, new artists at the studio producing new music. And uh, yeah, well, I've been doing some sound for TV and the likes, so hopefully, if uh, check out somewhere there, my last name, because I'm going to turn to my credits. Yeah, my credits. Yeah. Today, good Mazid. Hopefully. Oh, could he, what, like which one? Uh, like this, the Tiwini thing on Zambezi Magic. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, awesome. awesome. And uh, well, but generally, right now, I am. I want to work with people, you know. Uh, October, I was about ready to quit. <laughs> you, are, you are quitting music? Yep. Last October? Yeah. What happened? What made you stay? Uh, and why did you want to quit? Well, you know, you thought that it wasn't working out. I've been, you know, I've been having this thing, this, you know, like where I look at the system that we have for music in Zambia right now. It's 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 broken. <laughs> it's broken. I don't know if people actually realize it's broken. You know, it's broken. The way we we deal, we are making uh, products that we are failing to sell. You know. It's, it's 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 not working very well and so maybe i just focused a lot on the on the negatives and all that of what i was seeing or what i was thinking and i thought ah not maybe this this is just ah you know but then you meet people and some very important people sometimes believe in you you know and they just tell it say i know you can't you can't do that like just mention one name of a person who told who sat you down and said you can't do this Okay, um, for instance, I received a call from Joe Grace. He, he chewed me out for like 30 minutes. <laughs> I would tell you all, man. I'm one, of people that, I'm one of the people that believe in you from day one. I think I would tell you all if I also knew about that. Yeah. I like it. Uh, oh. Joe Crazy, thank you so much for yeah. keeping this down. <laughs> Joe, but there's a, lot, there's a lot that you have to do. There's a lot that you have to do. There's a lot that you're doing. There's a lot that you've done. There's a lot that's ahead of you. Yeah, man. You can't think like that. You can't, you can't even think about giving up. Anyway, so yeah, um, so we've talked about some, um, you know, some collabs here and there. Would you, would you, are you open to do a song with Bobby East? Especially anytime soon? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. You wouldn't mind? I wouldn't mind. It, okay. It gave me a chance to, you know, just clear the air a little bit. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> Jay, here we are! Dude, thank you so much for coming through, man. Oh, thank you for having me. Another thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be hanging out with uh, J.O. Michikoli. And of course, you know, he's addressed one or two things here and there. Until next week, this has been High Five. <laughs>